today's video, I'm going to go over the top five handover tips when it comes to buying a second-hand motorhome or any kind of van, to be fair. What, what do I mean with a handover? So you've gone to a second-hand uh, second motorhome dealer, like where I am now. I'm at Oak Tree. When you go to buy a motorhome and you, you do all the paperwork, you've done it all, right, I'm buying that motorhome, perfect. They will run you through everything in that motorhome so you know what how everything works that everything works so they'll show you that it does work and they'll show you how it works now there's 101 things to do in a motorhome and a camper van so it's quite a lot to take in with <laughs> with that that's been an understatement to say the least i mean your mind's thinking yes i've got a motorhome i've got a camper van i can't wait i'm gonna be going i'm gonna be doing this road trip i'm gonna be doing this road trip can't wait to go here can't wait to visit this place can't wait to show my friends that's what's going through your brain right now and all they're trying to do is go this is how you do this this is how you turn the border on this is how you do the fridge this is how you do this and your brain is taking absolutely none of it in how do you turn the boiler on uh my fridge don't work and it's, it does, it all works, nine times out of ten, because they've checked it, but you didn't know, you didn't remember, or you didn't follow, or weren't listening, how to do it. So, the best bit of advice I can give you is to film it. You don't need to film two hours of a handover, if that's what the handover was, for instance. You just need to go, right, when they go, right, this is how you do the boiler, this is how you turn the hot water on. You get your phone out and just film where they where they ignite it, where the controls are, what controls they do, ask any questions in that video, then stop. So you now have a vi little video about the boiler. When it comes to turning the, the gas heating, space heater on, or the wet heating, you, again, press record, go, right, how do you do it? Press this button, press that button, you know, do this, do that. This is how you how, turn it up, turn it down, and what you've got to do, ask any questions again, turn it off. When it comes to the fridge, how do you do it? Da -da -da -da. Record it. Then you've got all these little videos. So when you're away, you might be thinking, yep, yeah, that's cool. And you might go park it up. You don't usually use a fridge for a couple of times because you're only going to a campsite for one night. Um, and then you go into, say, France on a two-week holiday. You get to, <laughs> you get down there and you think, I don't actually know how to turn the fridge on anymore. I don't remember. How to. you got it on your phone. Sure, you can call the dealer up and ask them a question. And they're there to help. You know, you bought the motorhome home from them or the camper van from them. They're there to support you. They're not going to just go, no. So that's why you buy from a reputable, reputable dealer. Um, and then you get great service. But the, the easiest thing is to, you know, literally look on the phone. Uh, because they deal with thousands of different models. Thousands of different motorhomes. So to you, for you to say, ring them up and go, yeah, I've got this one. It's ABC model of XYZ make. It might take them some time to go, uh, yeah, right, so you've got to press this button, then you've got to go there, then you've got to go there. It might take them some time. So if you just say, can I just record this? Be fine. Not a problem. You need to see things working and feel things working. What do I mean by that? Right. So you need to have the heating on. This is, this is the, this is what, uh, Oak Tree do when they do a handover. They put the heating on, so it's nice and toasty inside. Uh, even in summer, if they've got aircon, they'll put the aircon on. They'll put the fridge on, they'll make sure it's cold. They put the hot water on, so they can run the hot water. So you need to see the gas flames coming out of every gas ring. You need it out of the grill and the oven. You need to fill hot water out of every tap. Feel the fridge is cold. If it's got aircon, you need to feel the aircon's cold and the cab aircon. You need to feel that's cold. You need to feel, touch, and squeeze and see everything working. Because if it doesn't work there and then, if you do go right, can you show me that aircon working? And they turn it on and it's only blowing up normal air or hot air. You can say right, well, you need to fix that. Not driven away and three weeks down the line you go, ah, oh, it doesn't work because, you know, it's just not. That's just not the best thing to do. So make sure you see touch squeeze feel everything working along with checking everything inside works you need to check things on the outside so you want to make sure the awning gets wound out completely to make sure one it winds out and it's no issues you want to make sure there's no rips or tears in the actual awning because that's that can be expensive if there is um you want to make sure it winds in and closes properly um again no problems i've had that before on mine it got stuck a bit and wouldn't didn't want to wind in even so they can go wrong so you want to make sure Things like that are all fine. You want to check outside water points. If there's an outside shower point and it's hot water, again, you want to make sure it runs hot water. 
if there's an outside gas point, nine times out of ten they'll probably have something that they can hook up uh, with a gas, like a little gas barbecue or something, or a little gas hob to show you the gas works. You want to know that that works because you don't want to be playing around one not knowing it works and two playing with gas. So all these things need to be checked, and I know it's a lot, but. I'm going to make a checklist so you can then uh, come along, download it, and then go, yep, 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 yep. You know that you've you've done a proper handover. If this is the first time you've got a motorhome or a camper van, you probably don't have anything, any stuff. So you want to make sure you've got like um, level uh, levelers, so the uh, wheel levelers. Um, so when you're on site, you can go on the ramps and you make level you out. Um, you want to see if you can get uh, electrical cable from your from your, your dealer. Um, and then they they might have hose uh like the hoses t for sale um all these if you can pick them up from your dealer one they're probably going to do your deal because they're not really massively expensive items um and you can go look go on can you chuck them in you know so it's a it's a little gift for us you know and things like that be a bit cheeky if you don't ask you don't get because then when you go to your campsite or you know when you take it out on its first outing you can be level you can plug into your power you can fill up your water and you've not got a problem at all so you don't get to site and go ah oh, how do we put water in it because we've got no hose we've got no you know we've got no water pipe or oh uh we're here on a campsite we're ready to use it but we've got no electric cable so now we can't now we can't plug in um yeah definitely worth a cheeky little ask um do not worry about the dissolving magical special unicorn fairy dust dissolving tissue uh loo roll because honestly it's pants and also toilet fluid i would recommend you use soul bio um now i don't think dealers are giving that away because that's it's you know it's it's a bit more specialist it soul bio i'll put a link up to it now and i'll put a little bit on screen um it's it's 100 organic it's 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 you can drink it uh it's safe for pets it's safe for kids so the worst that would happen is they'd probably be sick if they did drink it it's not going to poison them it's not going to kill them um yeah you can use it as a uh a, a light solution and then you can spray it on the side on the kitchen sides and wipe surfaces down um and it smells really nice now i've used it and i only exclusively use it because then i can pour my cassette away anywhere and when i mean anywhere it doesn't matter if it's a septic tank or not um it's it's fine because it's 100 percent natural and organic the last one is gas gas bottles now recently um and i'll put it up on screen now there's been a change with cala uh cala are stopping a certain bottles uh, and they're not doing any more new contracts i believe they are going to be doing um swaps so if you've got a bottle already they will swap it for another bottle but they will not be giving out new contracts so you can't buy a new bottle and get a new they're just not doing it make sure you've got gas bottles make sure you're um all good to go try and do your research as quick as you can and as uh prior to picking up your motor home see what you're going to need and see what you're going to do i mean that might become uh, an upgrade you might put some uh refillable tanks on there or an underslung tank say like a, a gas load kit or something like that um but yeah definitely look into that now they're my handover tips i there's there's tons more that can go into a handover a handover is quite an in intricate and a detail experience um you definitely need to you know there's definitely going to be things you're going to miss so don't worry too much don't stress yourself out record the most important parts um and then you know just make sure you've got numbers on hand and if something does arise that you don't know how to use you don't know how to figure it out take a deep breath don't worry about it it will you will figure it out call uh, you can youtube things call call the uh, dealers and see what they say and they i'm sure they'll help you out now i would love to know your handover tips have you recently bought a motor home and what was the handover like is there anything you think you should you should have done anything you wish you'd done more or found out there and then leave them in the comments below i'd really like to make a comprehensive list so we can get a nice checklist made and then uh, everyone can benefit going forward when they buy their new motor home and then they get get out on the open road start traveling have a freaking good time ah oh, it's gonna be great gonna be great i love it i love my home in. i love living in my motor home now now you've seen this and you know what the handover is i definitely recommend you check out this video and this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one take it easy